up everyone, it's me Zombie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making Gamora's Sword slash God Slayer from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 slash Infinity War. Yes! I am so excited to finally have this done. As you may know, this is my second time making this sword and I'm happy to say it went much smoother the second time around. I'm much happier with it and I was able to make it in just a few hours with about $25 worth of material. So if you're interested in making your own God Slayer, or if you're just curious to see how I made this thing, then keep on watching. First, I drew a pattern for the sword. I used some brown paper, pencils, and markers to sketch the shape that I wanted. Looking at the reference photos and photos of Gamora holding the sword helped me get an approximate size. Next, I transferred the pattern onto two pieces of MDF board. I glued them together with barge, and cut out the shape on a bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw, you could use a handsaw or a disc rotary tool, but it would take a lot longer. I also used the bandsaw to cut the holes in the middle as well. Then I sanded down the edges to make them nice and neat. To add all the fancy details onto God Slayer, I used the reference images again and sketched out all the indented details with a marker. This was tedious, but it made it a lot easier to do the next step. I used a detail bit on my rotary tool and etched in all the details. By the way, I don't suggest sanding or using a rotary tool on MDF inside. It gets everywhere. Also, make sure you're using a respirator at all times when sanding it because it gets really dusty and dirty. I carved a piece of foam and glued it to both sides of the sword for those two final details. I did the same thing for the little groove on the handle. Now it's time to prime. I'm using automotive filler primer and generously coating the sword with it. I let the primer sit for a few hours and made sure it was completely dry before sanding it. I used 120 to 200 grit sandpaper and sanded the heck out of this thing. I made sure to pay special attention to all the grooves in the sword too. Once it was sanded, I applied another coat of filler primer and repeated sanding until I was satisfied with how smooth it was. Now it's time for a glossy black paint. Using this glossy paint gives it a nice base for a shiny metallic finish. I applied two coats of the glossy black and allowed it to dry before using this metallic. I used this weathered metallic color and applied two coats of this paint to let it dry before adding some weathering colors. I used a combination of light browns, dark browns, and black to apply a wash over the sword. I moved around the colors into the grooves using a brush. To remove paint in places where I thought it was too heavy, I just used a paper towel. Now I'm going to brighten this up a bit. I'm using some of my favorite stuff ever, Rub and Buff. I only had to use a little bit of this metallic goo on a paper towel to make my sword look super shiny. And here is Gamora's sword all done. I'm happy to say it's really sturdy and really inexpensive. I was even able to make a holster for this, which ended up being super handy. I also made a Gamora costume to wear with God Slayer, so if you want to see how I made my Gamora cosplay, or if you just like cosplay in general, I hope you hit that subscribe button, because I would love to see you back. We're going to have a good time here making Gamora. Yeah. The makers of the week include Alt F4, who looks absolutely stunning in her cosplay. All the armor, all the accessories are so freaking detailed. Thank you so much for showing me. Winter's Child cosplay looks so badass in their My Hero Academia cosplay. You both look awesome. And finally, we have Tycho Tico, who made this NCR Ranger totally from scratch. So impressive. This is the first time he's made something like this. Great job, dude. You look freaking awesome. I love seeing what you guys are working on. It really makes my day. If you want to show me what you're making, my Twitter and Instagram are both Zombies Workshop. Feel free to show me there. I would absolutely love to check out what you're working on. So thank you in advance for showing me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you back here next time. Bye everybody.